a lot of democratic governments are passing laws you know, in the name of protecting children, in the name of fighting crime, in the name of, of fighting terror, um, that are using solutions that involve censorship and surveillance. So, you know, putting in mechanisms to censor child pornography, putting in mechanisms to censor material that's violating copyright, uh, putting in more power to the government to conduct surveillance of what internet users are doing. And the concern is that these mechanisms are going to be abused. And so you've seen in a, in a number of countries where they've put mechanisms in place to censor child pornography that other websites end up getting censored that aren't actually child porn. And concerns about um, the extent to which um, the people running these systems might apply their own agendas and um, abuse their power to censor more material than they were actually mandated to censor. In the United States and in Western Europe, um, because of concern about cybercrime, um, there is an increasing tendency to pass laws that allow law enforcement to access our information to follow what we're doing to demand that companies hand over information with less and less due process and less and less um, you know fewer and fewer mechanisms for accountability in the united states um, if the government wants to read your mail it's uh, pretty straightforward there needs to be a warrant but if a government agency wants to look at your email and if your email is over 180 days old, they don't need anything. They can just ask for it. And so there are a lot of issues online where surveillance is much more pervasive um, in our online lives than it is in our offline lives. And I think a lot of, you know, most people in the United States and the Democratic West are not aware of that because when police officers come into your house or come into your office and they go through your files, they go through your desk, they go through your drawers and cabinets, it's pretty obvious that happened. If they do the equivalent in your email, in your you know, online storage spaces, in your Facebook, you, know, you don't know. You have no idea it ever happened. And so you're not going to, you know, raise a fuss about it because you didn't know it happened and you don't know who was responsible. And so when power is being abused in digital networks, we need to make sure people know um, and that people who are abusing power are held accountable. We need to make sure that we're not allowing governments or companies to get away with abusing that power. So as an ordinary Internet user, there's quite a number of things you can do to defend your rights online, first of all, is you have to be aware. You need to be paying attention to how your social networks, how the internet services you depend on uh, are collecting your information. You should be asking questions about how they share that information with the government, with other companies, um, who can access that information, under what circumstances. What are the company's policies about taking down content or, or blocking content? So first of all is understanding what their policies and their practices are. And then second of all is that you need to make noise if you don't like what they're doing. We've seen a number of, of situations where companies do sometimes change their policies if their users and customers are organizing and protesting against those policies. You see it sometimes just in terms of the fees they charge, but sometimes you've seen it also just in terms of their privacy and security practices or the way the terms under which you can use your real name or, or how you're identified online. You know, there's, there's different ways uh, you can push back. I think we need to be exercising our powers as consumers. So when you're deciding what, what internet service provider to use or what email service to use or even you know how you're going to use a particular social network um, think about whether that company is is making an effort to protect your rights and you know be careful about how you use that service so that you don't expose yourself in in ways that that you don't want